Hi guys and welcome to Andy Robinson RC and in this video we'll be taking another look at the RC10 T3 and RC10 B3 factory team. Uh, if you did catch our original video on uh, the truck then I, you'll remember I was waiting on some new wheels and tyres, bearing kit and uh, those were the main things I was waiting on to get this ready for racing. And I had the RPM arms, front arms to fit onto the B3. So we've basically done those uh, things I needed to do. And we'll just have a, a quick look at what's been done properly. And I remember I was getting these ready for some vintage racing in general and to run at this year's Lakeland Classic uh, by uh, run by um, South Lakes Model Car Club in at the Kendall track. And uh, yeah, so massively looking forward to that and uh, looking forward to running these two uh, vintage vehicles. Anyway, um, let's take the body shell off and uh, we'll, I'll show you in a bit more detail what's been done. Right, uh, so there it is. Um, so I managed to uh, track down a full set of uh, associated T2 wheels. Uh, it'll fit exactly the same as the T3 ones, uh, but this is what I could get. And um, they're in a fetching neon yellow. So there we go, we've just replaced pretty much like for like there, except the old ones were white. And uh, tyre-wise, I've gone for Schumacher Stagger Ribs on the front. And we've got Schumacher V2s on the rear, which should, should be perfect for grass. Um, and I've gone for yellow compound all round. It was a choice between yellow and green, but I ended up sticking with yellow. Um, so it should be fine. Okay, so that's the wheels and tyres. Now, we also fitted a full bearing kit um, as it had none anywhere so all the hubs have been done uh, all the transmission and gearbox that's all been uh, ball race now so it's a million times better after that and um, what else did we do yeah I think I'd already done it but I've done the um, replaced all the oil in the shocks but I think I'd already done that anyway um, we've done it but generally a bit more cleaning up all around as you can see, it's a lot cleaner now there. Uh, I need to find a couple of uh, gearbox bolts if possible. There's a bit of surface rust on them. And if I can clean up those turnbuckle tie rods better, I will. Not the end of the world. It's still going to run. They still work because I had to, uh, some of the uh, the camber links were uh, not equal all the way around. So I've had to do that as well. And if you remember on the last video, this had a brushed speed control at the 12 turn limit and a 19 turn checkpoint money motor uh, in the back. And I was humming and ahhing again with do I keep it brushed or brushless. Now I did want to keep it brushed but I, I just think it might not have the pace on the day. So um, I've gone for this uh, brushless setup that I've got um, I had lying around. So we've got a 10 turn Etronics motor in the back, or 10.5 turn, I should say. And we've got the, a quick run 10BL 60 amp ESC there. So, uh, yeah, that should be uh, more than enough. It's on the stock gearing still, so I think it's an 87 tooth spur and a, an 18 tooth pinion. But I've, I've had it running up down the street. Uh, with the brushless um, combo in, and it seems lively enough for uh, racing on the 23rd of August. So yeah, so that's good. Really happy with that. Now, um, as I say, the only thing that might change out still is the servo. I'm still not quite happy with that. It's still a bit on the slow side. So we might still pop in a quicker servo. And oh yeah, <laughs> at the moment I'm currently sharing um gear covers between the b3 and the t3 so i need to find a b3 gear cover as well 
um, ideally. If not, I'll be sharing it, but otherwise I'd like to find one before uh, we start raising it. But other than that, um, you know, uh, unless a nice set of titanium turnbuckles are magic themselves from somewhere, it's pretty much done and ready to race. So yeah, quite chuffed with that. So that is the T3, all set and done, but small things. But essentially it is ready to go. Now, with the B3, we have now fitted, you can see there, we've got rid of the, the graphite factory team wishbones and we fitted on these much, as you can see, a much stronger RPM uh, front wishbones. So the geometry is still the same at the front regarding the shocks and where they uh, fit. But uh, yeah, they're a lot tougher and we shouldn't, <laughs> touch wood, shouldn't see them uh, fracturing and where the hinge pins are by the wheel and where they bolt onto the bulkhead. So yeah, so that's them. Now, and actually, if I can do it with Without making a whole mess, I'll just show you underneath the uh, the body. Take the wing off, one-handed, so it's fun. There we go, this is the B3. Okay, currently the receiver is in a different car. But yeah, so we've got an Orion... Vortex brushless ESC there, and we've got a 10.5 Nosram brushless motor sensored, which works nicely and looks really lovely and punchy and smooth, uh, so that's cool. And we've got a, uh, this is a Bluebird servo, and it's, uh, you know, pretty damn quick really for a vintage servo, so we've got that up front, that's really cool. Uh, it's doing its job well, so it's handling really nice. There is some weight under the front bulkhead there to uh, help keep the front end down. But yeah, all together, it's uh, rather nice. Looking forward to running this. Can't wait. So yeah, so that's where we're up to. Um, I still need to get the rear tyres and inserts for the new wheels. And again, once that's done, put the receiver back in this thing and uh, yeah, the B3FT is ready to go. So there we go. Well, right, so that's where we're up to now. If there's any more updates between now and uh, the race in August, I'll do a quick video and let you know. But yeah, that's it for now. Uh, cheers for checking out the video, guys. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please consider doing so. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you want to. And um, we'll see you on the next uh, video. Also as well, we do. there is the notification bell if you want to hit that, if you want to see some more RC-related videos uh, coming up soon. And uh, I have actually, just before I go, starting to waffle a bit, but I do have a TTO2 BMS, um, which is a, a Tamiya kit, which um, I've recently acquired. That'll be coming up very soon. And we've got Mark Swift's pumpkin as well to take another look at because he's upgraded the whole uh, front suspension on it. So that's coming up soon as well. Anyway, I'm going now. Uh, cheers for checking out the video. Take care, guys, and we'll uh, see you soon.